East Africa, a land of great physical contrast, but conversely a land whose people are cemented together by a common spirit of trade and entrepreneurship. As early as the 19th century, the people of East Africa have had a history of commerce and industry that took advantage of their abundant natural resources. Through ancient trade with Europe, India and the Far East, the region's economic activity was woven into the pattern of the world economy. As the three countries approach the global challenges that the 21st century presents, they prepare to exploit new opportunities beyond the traditional areas of agriculture and tourism. To do this, the region requires strong, consistent and reliable financial backup to enable it to realize its vast economic potential. In the early 1960s, the leadership of the newly independent East African states felt the need for an institution that could promote socio-economic development for the good of the region's citizenry. And so, the idea of the East African Development Bank was born. The bank opened its doors in December 1967. The role of EADB is to promote the um, economic development of the member states. Um, and we do this through one principal means, offering a broad and diverse range of products and uh, financial services um, that are uh, responsive to client needs and uh, at affordable prices, or what we'd call interest rates in, the, in financial markets. The bank is headquartered in Kampala, Uganda, with country offices in both Nairobi and Dar es Salaam. The main shareholders of the bank are the member states of Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. Other shareholders include the African Development Bank, DEG of Germany, FMO of the Netherlands, and other non-state financial institutions. EADB offers a wide mix of products, which are tailor-made for the region's specific requirements. The renewed cooperation of the three governments of Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania through the signing of a common customs union has created new opportunities for the bank to fulfill its mandate. At the moment we are lending about $200 million dollars uh, which is evenly distributed between the three countries. That represents uh, about 180 projects in total, uh, say 60 per, per country. With the liberalization of the financial sectors in all member states, quite a number of commercial banks and other financial institutions have entered the East African market in the last few years, leading the bank to re-examine its role and realign its focus to face current and future challenges. We are increasingly giving priority to investments or projects that have a regional spread, that have uh, locations across borders, because we do believe this is an effective way of uh, supporting regional integration. The bank will seek to support cross-border projects in energy, transport and telecommunication, the key sectors that will spur development in East Africa. The East African Development Bank is uh, North East Africa, uh, knows Kenya Power and Lighting and knows the needs of Kenya Power and Lighting. And because of the knowledge that they have of Kenya Power and Lighting, they have come to our assistance in several ways. And the latest being the Kembere Nairobi line, which has really enhanced the quality of supply within Nairobi and the rest of the country. EADB recognizes the importance of other infrastructure projects such as telecommunications because of their crucial role in development. The bank has recently entered into a landmark deal with Uganda Telecom. The EADP has committed to us an amount of $13.5 uh, uh, million. That's unique. We have not had that level of participation from uh, any uh, development or bank or institution of that nature. What surprised me, having had some experience with other development uh, banks uh, and also banks in general, is that EADP was able to come back to us within 30 days. That was remarkable, and that's what, what we like to, to see. We, we like to be supported, because our business, you have to react very quickly. Kior Limited is Tanzania's only glass factory. The highly capital-intensive industry required finance to expand and modernize its plant and sought funding from EADB. The result? New markets were created in the wider sub-Saharan region. So the funding that we took in 97, it went into making a absolutely new facility in Tanzania. And it was after commissioning this plant that Q 
Kio started to ship into different countries from North Africa to West Africa and into Indian Ocean Islands. And it was based on that funding that we received from EADB at that point of time. The economic and social development of any region depends on the generation of employment and a significant proportion of all new jobs come from small and medium-sized enterprises such as Joakali Industries and family-owned businesses, a sector that has previously been underserved by credit institutions. Commercial banks do a lot in SME financing, but we think that there is a huge gap that needs to be filled and um, being a predominantly development institution um, we feel it is our responsibility to support this um, if the economies of our member states uh, are to grow um, as fast as we'd like to see them do. The Creative Print House is one such small-scale business in Nairobi that needed finance to import new image-setting equipment and proofing units. The company benefited from EADB's asset lease facility. They acquired state-of-the-art machinery and have now embarked on the second phase of their business plan. We started as a small design house. We wanted to become a repro, fully-fledged repro house. And service, I mean, so we'd complete the whole phase of being a complete unit. And most banks don't take you seriously because you don't have that kind of capital to put down as collateral. EADB looked at us and said, yes, they, they, this, these people have a potential and they helped us grow and now we are actually one of the five most reputable agencies in Nairobi. Other beneficiaries of EADB's asset lease facility include various construction companies who've leased earth movers among other construction equipment. EADB has been looking to put more money into equity whereby we put equity finance capital into new projects where we are seeing a, a startup. Uh, where there's been a heavy dependence on borrowed funds, often we feel that taking a portion of those funds as equity will give the project a better chance of success than simply borrowing money and, and, and making repayments out of profit. In addition to its equity holding in the airline Precision Air that operates out of Dar es Salaam, EADB has placed similar investment in farming concerns. The bank holds equity in Yugachik Poultry Breeders, the leading poultry company in Uganda. We needed to inject some more money in the business and uh, we applied for it and we got some, some injection recently to um, have, for example, uh, additional uh, hatchery equipment. We got those ones using ADB funds and we we have um, doubled our production uh, by importing extra parent stock. So this is all has come as a result of our relationship with the East African Development Bank. EADB has also offered substantial financial support to dairy farms, milk processing units and flower farms. We are now lending longer term, certainly longer term than any of the commercial banks. We're able to go to 10 years and even to 15 years if necessary. I mean, this kind of business we're doing here, we need long-term finance. Other than that, it doesn't just make sense at all. So you got short term, you're supposed to pay it after 12 months. It's, it's, it's very, very hard on, on our cash flow. We provide long-term financing to a broad range of enterprises because we do recognize that long-term capital is an absolute necessity for a thriving business sector uh, in East Africa. The education sector too has received support from the bank. Numerous schools in the region have obtained funding from EADB. When it, we decided to start the school, banks were not willing to give financial loans or assistance to schools because they felt that they would never recover their money. So East African Development Bank was the first bank to offer us the loan and since then we have acquired other loans from them and we are very happy with them. We expanded immediately. The school population rose from 600 to 1,200 when we got the building. It's currently used by the secondary school. The bank's diverse portfolio covers commercial real estate projects such as the modern Crested Towers building, an imposing landmark on the Kampala skyline. And not too far from that, Kampala's premier shopping complex, 
the impressive Garden City Leisure and Shopping Mall houses a variety of retail outlets, entertainment and other amenities. The health sector has benefited from EADB funding too. Health facilities have leased medical equipment from the bank and Corner X-ray Diagnostic Center in Nairobi is one among many beneficiaries. And on the outskirts of Kenya's capital, in the tranquil suburb of Karen, plans for the imposing Nairobi Heart and General Hospital are being turned into reality. The ADB is involved in funding this facility. Tourism, one of East Africa's top foreign exchange earners, has received a great deal of attention from EADB. Dar es Salaam's new Africa Hotel and Casino, popular with both tourists and business travelers, is undergoing an ambitious refurbishment program backed by financing from EADB. Fedha ambazo tulizipata kutoka kwa Benki ya Maendeleo ya Afrika Mashariki ilitumika kwa kukarabati vyumba 126. Kuna restaurant mbili kwenye hoteli hii, moja ni Thai restaurant ambayo ni unique kwa ajili ya Dar es Salaam. Tulikarabati maeneo yote including the swimming pool na vitu kama vile. Another of looking at our vision for the future or the direction in which we would like to take the bank is um, to build on our strengths and competencies and for EADB to become the, uh, the anchor financial institution of the future. In future when we expand our business we'd like to continue working with EADB because they fully understand our business. They've helped us grow from what we are to uh, what we were to what we are. Undoubtedly we shall be calling on EADB. In fact probably we'll be talking in the course of time to see how more they can help us. I think we would want to work more with them. The East African Development Bank professes a relentless resolve to keep the wheels of development in motion. And the bank will draw heavily from its wealth of experienced and competent staff to keep on its mission's path. EADB plans to stay at the helm of regional development as the economies of its three member states prepare to take off, taking with them numerous East African projects heading for a vibrant future. And we believe at EADB that East Africa particularly East Africa of today, which is looking at economic cooperation and integration, needs a strong, vibrant financial institutions to spearhead uh, uh, economic development efforts for the future. And you see ourselves as being able, or rather well-suited, to play this role.